Hello guys, my name is Shoner. If you have been struggling with your A7 IV and if you were struggling to adjust your Acinetone settings, you're in the right place. I had the Sony A7 IV for a week now and I have been struggling so much to adjust my Acinetone settings. But I finally figured out there is not so much information about this on the internet. There's some videos which explains how a Cinetone works on Sony A7S 3 but I actually found those videos kind of useful, but it wasn't enough. Because they were saying that what you see from the camera is what you get. And I was checking the screen, everything was fine. But when I went to Premiere to edit the footage, I was hustling so hard. Because a Cinetone is a picture profile, you kind of don't need to do anything. Well, at least what people were saying, but the footage what I got was horrible. So I was trying to fix it, but it wasn't happening. So I figured out that I was actually having bad camera settings. So that's why my final result on the Premiere after the editing was looking horrible because I was doing everything wrong. So today I will share those settings with you guys and how you should do it because the metering system of the A7 IV was actually not working because I was trusting that because the videos that I was checking was explaining that if you expose correctly then you will be totally fine but when I was filming with my A7 IV everything was looking fine with the metering system I wasn't overexposed or underexposed my exposure was you know tech sharp but I mean the final result was horrible then I've started to wonder what is wrong and I have been tweaking my lightning setup and also camera setup to get this final look so I will share how I accomplished it before we start I will turn on the Atomos Ninja V so you will see my camera settings there will be some background noise, sorry, because the camera is right now catching the battery of the Atomos Ninja V and the fan, so sorry about that. But, as you can see right now, my Kelvin settings, my white balance is on manual. So you have to make sure that your white balance set correctly. And as you can see with the metering system, right now we are underexposed. So don't trust your metering system, because if you're outside, it can be fine, but check my environment i'm in a dark scenario and i don't know what camera is reading right now because the sensor is kind of telling me that it's underexposed but it's you know there's so much black in this scenario so you cannot trust the metering system at least i was trusting before and i realized that i was actually over exposing so much how are we gonna fix it well it's really easy fix because we are gonna use zebras right now my zebra is set to 85 well normally the skin tones are around like 60 percentage but it actually depends on the skin type in a cinetone the shadow areas will be more contrasty so if you're overexposing then you will have so flat skin you will have so flat footage so it will be really difficult to put you know color grade that footage because a cinetone is a picture profile that you don't actually need to do anything so it's perfect for youtube setup and of course if you're gonna do some client work i highly recommend you to use the s-log3 but if you're gonna use the footage for youtube and such cinetone is totally fine <laughs> So let's fix it. Currently my zebras are set to 85 percentage. And you can actually see it from here. My zebras are set to 85 percentage. You can experiment here, but I tried all these settings and I found that 85 zebras kind of worked perfectly for me because I was able to manage to nail my exposure. Now zebras are set to 85 and this is perfect scenario because the most brightest area is like right now my nose because it's so big and after that the lightning goes more down what i mean by that is 85 is at around my nose and that's like the top edge right now and after that it goes down 80 75 percentage and 70 so let's go high a little and then you will understand what i mean if you overexpose 
as you can see i will come a little closer to the light source the, it's so flat and i feel like i'm looking like a zombie because i am overexposed so you should never overexpose an acinetone because and especially for the skins it's really hard to you know fix this on the pores so if i go down and this is around zebra 85 so as you can see i got more contrast already so you should underexposed a little and from the metering system as you can see right now we are underexposed i want to show you something when you go underexposed there is coming more color as you see to the skin so which means that the color is hiding on the shadows on a cinetone so if you want to get you know color you have to underexpose this is the easiest explanation so i highly recommend you to use zebras when you're exposing to skin if you stay around 80 percentage or 85 percentage you will be totally fine and to spice things up this is now with the knf concept black diffusion filter so you see a little bit softening on the skin and also some that kind of dreamy looking diffusion on the lights as well so i really like this setup now and i hope this will help to you as well and one more thing when you add a diffusion filter like this you have to add more light coming to your subject so i'm all the way up to max on my light to give that extra pump now i can see again this zebras on my big nose and you know it goes softer to darker areas around 70 zebra ish percentage is that in is that making sense but i hope this will help you to figure out your lightning as well i hope this video was helpful for you please drop a comment down below if you have any questions and stay tuned because i'm going to share how you can color grade the acinetone footage coming from a7 4 and I'm also gonna share some lots what you can use with the Acinetone. So please subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to don't miss those. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please crush the like button if you liked the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.